The previous lesson, we looked at the nav bars, and we saw how really nicely that Bootstrap has, gives us the ability to handle various dynamic aspects within just adding in classes within our HTML. So we can build out fully interactive content just by accessing classes. And another really cool one that I've always loved using within Bootstrap is the Bootstrap carousel. So a carousel essentially is that you've got those images, you've got a set of images, and you allow the user to flip through and see the various images. So let's take a look at the Bootstrap carousel, and then we're gonna bring it into a web project. So going over to the Bootstrap website, we've got a nice example of a carousel. And we see that we're able to flip through the images. We've got the ability to have these chevrons here and flip through the images. So the carousel indicators down here as well, presented as unordered lists. So quite a lot of options. So let's go ahead and build this carousel out. And I'm gonna use CodePen again. Uh, so we're gonna create a brand new code pen here and I'm gonna build out that carousel. So just underneath my navigation bar and I'm still unsure if I like this red, but let's just keep it in there for now. Uh, so let's grab and get rid of some of the, these alerts because we no longer need them within our code. And I'm gonna build out a nice represented carousel there. I'm gonna use images from placeholder although I'd like to use images from Lorem Pixel. So depending on how things go, we may use them from here as well, because this is gonna present us with some nice actual images instead of just placeholder looking content. So it'll make it representative more of the type of website that we wanna build out. Now the carousel, just like the navigation bar and a few of the other components that we've looked at in Bootstrap, requires the jQuery library, it requires the tether from Bootstrap, as well as the Bootstrap 4.0, or the, boots, the current Bootstrap version that you're working with. So in this case, we're gonna be working with 4.0. So let's create a brand new div here. And within this div, this is where we're gonna actually create our carousel. Uh, so first thing that we need to do is create some items here within the carousel. So we can create this via or using uh, just divs. So let's just do it with divs. So we're going to have a div here and then within the div we're going to have an image and we need to specify a source for the image. Uh, so let's blow that up and then create and we'll create three uh, three items within the carousel. So I did say I wanted to use uh, Lorem Pixel, so we'll try it out and see how it works. Or maybe we can swap that later on. And at first, what I'll do is I'll just use the default here within placeholder, and then we can make it uh, much nicer once we've got it up and running. So for now, let's create our placeholder, and maybe these images should be bigger. So I'm gonna make them larger size shrink it down a little bit there and let's create a bunch of these divs here uh, actually I should specify here that um, we need to give it a class so I'm going to give it a class and I'm going to equal that class to be carousel item so it's care o cell item and so this is going to allow bootstrap to in order to understand what I, which divs are it should treat as an item within the carousel. And then this container here, this div that's outside, is going to be our main uh, container for the carousel. So we're going to style that afterwards as well. Uh, so we see that now we've got a series of images here uh, being represented within the carousel. And now we need to actually transform it into a carousel. So let's add in a class up here. So class, and this is care carousel inner. So this represents the inner carousel. And we should also specify that this is going to be a role. So the role for the carousel is a list box. And let's actually place another wrapper outside of all of this. So this is going to be our main carousel container controls. So all of that carousel object information is going to be contained within this div. Uh, so this one is going to have an ID of my carousel. 
So I'm always looking to make sure that I'm spelling carousel properly because I do have some kind of issue here with spelling carousel. So I just wanted to always double check and make sure that I spelled carousel properly. Uh, so sometimes that becomes an issue when you think uh, you're, you set up your code and you're not sure why it's not working properly. So the carousel class, it's going to be a carousel and it's going to be a slide. And I do need to specify which item is going to be the active one, the first one. Uh, or we could specify another one to be active as well, to be the starting point. So we see that once we specify that, then we get uh, that image shows up and it gets started to treat it more like a, the actual carousel. And notice as well that the images are fully responsive and resizable. So maybe I'll keep it on a smaller screen so that uh, we can see the code as we're typing through and see the contents and what's happening. So we need to specify a data ride. So this is what the attribute is called, data ride. And this is going to be a carousel. So now we see that we've got our carousel, but we don't have any way to actually click through them and move to the next item within the carousel. So we see that by default, uh, Bootstrap is already handling a shifting of the carousel items. So maybe I need to make these uh, different size images so that we actually see something different as they're, as they're flipping through them. And you can actually specify the speed that you want your carousel to, uh, to change at. Uh, so you can change the interval speed uh, using uh, JavaScript or jQuery. So we can set an interval of 2,000 milliseconds. We can do it really quick. So uh, 500 milliseconds, so that speeds it up. We can do it really super quick at 100. So these are a bunch of options that are available to us. So ideally, when you are creating a carousel, you should have the images at the same side, size, but I did want to create some kind of differentiation between them. So uh, this is why I set them at the larger sizes, but ideally they should be already defaulted to the same size. And if they're not, then maybe add in a class and set them to be the same size so that you have that same size image. So I can add in a class here and I can say uh, my IMG or something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to add in that same class across all of them. And then update a class in here. So class was my IMG. And I'm going to give it a height. So I'm going to give them all a default height of 400 picks. that should be min height so that performs a little bit better so now we see that we've got a bunch of images there so I know that uh, by default they should be the same height but this is just a uh, hack into it to make them the same height so that it presents better and we see we've got our images going fairly quickly as well uh, so we can make that adjustment within the interval speed so we can even set it something like five seconds if we want so if that's making you dizzy I'll slow that down uh, while we're developing this out so Bootstrap does give you the ability to create these navigation uh, carousel controls. So we want to include them within our main carousel object. So we've got our carousel here. Uh, so there's got the carousel inner. Uh, so just outside of the carousel inner is where we can add in our control buttons. So we can have them in a div or we can have them as hyperlinks So class. Uh, so pull them over. So give it a class of left. And here we need to specify uh, what we want it to look like. So let's give it an icon. So this is just giving it a span here, next icon. So we know that uh, what this is gonna represent. And now let's add in another class into this hyper this anchor text or anchor link of carousel control so this is so bootstrap understands that this is actually a carousel control and we want to add that in and we see once we add that in uh, we've got that popping up there and we see that uh, now we've got a carousel control uh, so we need to be more specific uh, so the icon should actually be previous 
instead of next. So that one uh, would be on the left hand side. So this would move to the previous one and we could do another one that would move to the next value. So this would be carousel and we put this one on the right hand side and instead of previous, this one would be next. So we see that now we've got the two icons all ready to go and now we need to give that some action, some ability to connect to the actual, to hyperlink it to the actual actions within the carousel. So notice that my carousel was called my carousel. So this is where we've got to attach that action to. So the href goes to the ID or whatever you called your main carousel. So this is going to be href carousel and I can copy that same information there. Uh, so right now it doesn't do anything yet and this is where we need to add in our data actions. So first I want to make sure that we specify for accessibility that this is a role of a button and then we've got our data slide is going to slide to the previous value. So now we see that that's all we have to do to create those actions and of course, so can you guess what the data slide for here is going to be? So taking a hint from what we've got our icon of next, so now we have the ability to go back and forward in the carousel and so on. Uh, just by adding in just some simple classes. And this is really what the beauty of Bootstrap is because it's just so easy to add this stuff and to build these things out. Now we saw in our example that we had a bunch of indicators here at the bottom. So if you want to add these in, uh, you can add them in as well into your project. Uh, so it's as easy as just updating and creating an, un an ordered list, I should say. So it's an ordered list. And then each one of the indicators is a list item. And we'll close off that ordered list. And now we need to add in the appropriate classes. Uh, so let's add in appropriate classes into these list items. So the list item, the contents of the list item is actually not nothing. Uh, so we're just leaving those blank and we're going to give it a class. So we're going to have carousel indicators. So once I add the class of carousel link indicators on the parent, so carousel indicators. Uh, we see that right away they pop up and all the list items are going to show up as these indicators. So the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to continue to build this out and we're going to build out all the carousel indicators to make it more interactive, our carousel in our web project. So that's coming up in the next lesson.